you'd mentioned that one of the ways, and in fact this was in your presentation too, the more competitive that you price your house, the faster it'll move, especially in the change in today's changing market. That's true. If you've got your house priced competitively, there are in certain segments, it is a seller's market. Not all of them, but still you have competition. And if you're priced better than a similar house down the street and all things being equal, they're gonna go after that house that's priced better because everybody's still looking for a deal. For the past three, four years, it's been every, all the buyers have been told it's a buyer's market, you can get whatever you want. So pricing still, we're still not far enough away from being a buyer's market where pricing it and pricing competitive, competitively is really gonna to be to your advantage. Okay, excellent. Because buyers have been told it's a buyer's market, that buyers are far more educated today than they ever have been. Oh, without a doubt. With between all the, you know the plethora of media sources, um, it, you know some of it is the HGTVs of the world, and some of it is just the you know the the CNNs and and the, and buyers just they spend a lot of time looking at houses and looking at markets before they ever actually jump into the arena of, of actually physically looking at it. They may only physically look at a half a dozen houses, but I guarantee they've been looking at a lot of them on the market before, and they know what people are offering and what amenities and compare this house to that house. So yeah, they're much more educated than they ever have been before. And that probably is why it plays such an important role to highlight all the aspects of being on the cul-de-sac and the positives of the school districts Absolutely. and the private schools and the kindergartens and yep. the shopping amenities available in the little micro community and highlighting all that. Exactly. Depending upon whatever their hot button is. If they're a, a family with a five-year-old, then the elementary school is going to be very important to them. If they're a family with... Um, that are empty nesters you know, they're going to want to know they're not going to care as much about the school district and want to get know want to know more about the other social aspects um, of the community that offers for them now as empty nesters and that makes sense mm -hmm. and if you have any other questions give me a call i will answer any questions that you have and if i don't have the answer i'll find it for you